Greetings, YouTube. Today I have a selection of figures. Um, I bought these in a bag at the thrift chain Savers. It cost me four bucks for all these figures. Um, and I bought it particularly for this figure, but there were a number of other, but my wife is a big fan of Chinese dragons and there's one here and one here. So I thought that would make a nice addition to her collection. Um, in addition, there were these two here, which are more traditional Western style dragons, this rather cutesy Western style dragon, and this really creepy rubber dragon. So we're gonna look at this guy first. This got some kind of beanie substance inside, which is probably toxic. Um, but it, it's very goofy looking. It kind of makes me think of 19th century dinosaur illustrations. Sometimes you'd see they were so unrealistic looking, but uh, it is, it's, it's one of those stress balls. It's creepy. Um, I don't, I don't like it. I don't, don't like the figure as a figure itself. And, and I don't, I don't like touching it. <laughs> so creepy rubber dragon, getting rid of that one. Um, then we have this cute little Western style dragon with tiny little wings. And he kind of vaguely makes me think of Godzilla Jr. from one of the movies that was out there. And there was a TV series too, an animated series. But um, he's very he's static, kind of chunky. Um, not particularly all that interesting. Um, paints, you know, it's, it's, it's a paint job. Um, eye is kind of bleeding over there. And I'm not keeping this guy either. I'm getting rid of him. Not my style. Um, then we have the figure that I wanted this bag for. This is a Cerebus, uh, Cerebus, I should say, Cerebus. Um, we got any information on there? Oh. It's, there is information there, but it's very CE China, sorry, CE China. Mm. I can't read it, I'll be honest with you. It's in, it's barely that the mold is not well cared for. He's male. <laughs> I told my wife that I pointed out to her. She goes, well, how, how unfortunate for him. He's got three heads and one penis. And I said, Cerberus is supposed to be a dog, the size, a minimum of a Clydesdale and often depicted as an elephant or larger size. Who's he going to have sex with? But that's beside the point. So you have a uh, a more of a rat style tail here, not dog like in the least. Um, very completely devoid of uh, of any hair, and far longer. A dog's tail and usually goes about there. Even if it's got hair on it. They don't. They're not as as this. They're not this long. Um, it's kind of serpentine like. But the sculpting's not bad at all. It's not up to the same quality as some. There's another service out there I've seen, um, but it's uh, not up to the same quality. Now, it's interesting is that that collars don't have spikes where they come next to each other and I don't know if that was because you would not want to have a collar digging into the necks of the other heads or the artist just couldn't get any couldn't make create that image or it's supposed to be there and they're just supposed to be stabbing each other in each other's throats um but it's kind of interesting. You got the you got the lower jaw here, which obviously must be the one that does most of the eating, and these two up here, which do probably a lot of the seeing and the attacking. Um, the eyes are decent. the The mouth, all the mouths are are um, definitely threatening enough. The paint job's not great, like just missing them the teeth and things like that. But I didn't pay much for this figure. I mean, I guess I paid four about four bucks for all these figures. Um, now, they actually had another bag of figures that had this guy in it with another mix, but I didn't like it as much because it didn't have this this Chinese dragon, which my wife likes. So oh, all in all, I think it's a cool figure. I'm going to add him into my collection. I'm keeping him, definitely. And this is the Chinese dragon. And this tail section in here actually is... Yeah, there's, this, there's the seam right there, which I'm probably going to glue in place. I don't know why it's removable. I don't know what this is from because there's another seam here that doesn't come off. So I've got the feeling that it wasn't supposed to come off. It broke off, but the, the stem is still there so I can glue it back together. Um, and this is definitely a figure that should be hung. You put a fish line or something in there and hang it. Make good to hang it inside your car if you want, you want that. You want a Chinese dragon hanging off your mirror or something like that. But we'll find a place for him. He's got nice long whiskers, which is a nice feature because they're because they're cast right in there. I think they're cast in there. Maybe they're, maybe they're injected after, but they're still a nice feature. The teeth are tiny, but this actually has a tongue and the dental. I mean the 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 uh, paint on the teeth is better than the, it is on the on the cerebus I just showed you. The eyes are okay. There's these are all single color, so there's, there's kind of uh, cartoony four color look to them 
but overall it's a nice little figure and obviously designed to be hung if anyone's seen this can tell me if it's from something is it from like a an anime or a manga series that i'm unaware of um, that would be cool i, I appreciate that and I'm going to break, yeah, break out some uh, Gorilla Glue and, and get that put in place. Okay, next up we have another Chinese-style dragon. Um, a Lung, I believe is what they're called. And this has a really great Newt-like vibe to it. This would be awesome to use as a, either a prop or a miniature. Um, this is great for a miniature because he's gonna. this is the size of a service that's going to terrify uh, player characters out of their minds. You see a service that big, they're going to be like, ah, this thing is the gate, guarding the gates of hell. This, however, has um, the seven faces of Dr. Lao. There was a sea serpent that as long as it kept wet, it would be tiny, but as it got dry, it grew to large size. And this looks like one of the early stages when it was this actual size. Um, so you could use this as a prop and put it on the table and say, that's what you see. And maybe they figure out that it's more than just a weird looking newt, and maybe they don't. Or you use it as a miniature, and the miniature fitter is going to come up to here, so it's still definitely a menace. And I like the newt like features to it. It is definitely um, a nice design. Very simple, there's almost no paint on this thing. Um, the eyes, some of the mouth stuff, the body is monocolored. Um, it's got a nice tail, though, it's kind of like a feathery style of, of tip. So, all in all, it's a nice little figure, uh, kind of rubbery, not, not a hard plastic, so that'll keep in that one. Next up, we have a small gold dragon. This definitely looks like a miniature from a miniatures game. You put that next to a figure, and it's it's going to be a young dragon. Um, very useful as, as a miniature figure. Um, static, gold and silver, um, got claws, dark mouth, no teeth, the ears, the horns are taken care of, and the eyes are done, so it's very, very simple. But it's a cute little figure, and I'll be keeping that one because it's usable as a miniature, oops, usable as a miniature, um, or it's just a, a figure on a shelf. Then we have this one, which just says made in China, but it's got a substantial base, and it's very gracile. It's very, and it's definitely not the traditional, this is more of the drake, because it only has two wings and two limbs instead of the, instead of the hex hexapetal creature, this one is. Um, so, uh, this is more of a drake style creature, more of an animal, and you could use this as a prop, say the very tiny creature you find living like a butterfly version of a drake, yeah, it would be kind of cool, or use it as a miniature and it's a very large, perfect for a, for a steed, really, that would be a great steed for a miniature. Um, so overall, it's a nice little collection of miniatures, um, again, I paid four bucks for these, I'm really happy with this, um, that's great, this is good, this is good, and my wife's going to like this one. Uh, this one's too cute. I'm getting rid of it, and this one's just just creepy. Um, so that's what I picked up at Savers for four bucks.